I'm Tanya Steele from Epicurious.com, and you're watching Around the World in 80 Dishes. Today we're making a dish from Veracruz, Mexico, with my friend, who I love, Chef Ileana de la Vega from Mexico, from Mexico. And Chef, this is a, a real specialty of Mexico, right? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, can you say it to me in, in Spanish, the way you would pronounce the dish? Pescado la Veracruzana. Ah, sí. Okay. Very close. Okay. Right? What are you there? Red snapper Veracruz, right? And Veracruz is right on the sea, is that mm -hmm. correct? It's in the Gulf. On the Gulf, the Gulf of, of Mexico. Mexico. So it almost covers the whole thing and, you know, the whole Gulf. And, well, we start cooking it. Okay. Show me what to do. Yeah. Okay. We add a little bit of oil mm -hmm. over there. What kind of oil Skillet do we use? Olive oil. Okay. Extra virgin, if you like. Is this That's a little bit more. Let's do a, a little, little bit more. more. You know, with olive oil, never be that fine. Okay. Never be... A little it's it's enough yeah okay so then we will add the onion okay. we have chopped onion normally to Mexican cooking we use white onion not yellow onion not Spanish onion no okay we're gonna All use right. the white onion so just stir for okay. Like, okay. you know 30 mm -hmm. seconds or mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so when it's you know like translucent yes. then it's fine okay there you go okay let's add the garlic mm. chopped garlic Cook it for another 30 seconds, one minute. Then we normally use in Mexico, you know, fresh tomatoes. We chop them. We're using, uh, you know, canned tomatoes because, you know, in winter, what you can do yeah. here in the States. So let's do that. Okay. But now you're ready. Uh, as much, you know, don't take too much juice now. Don't. Just okay. as much of the crushed tomatoes. Is that good or a little mm, more? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. More. Okay. We want a lot of sauce in oh, the, the dish. Okay. And if, if it is summertime, could you use fresh, fresh tomatoes? tomatoes are always mm -hmm. preferable. Okay. And the funniest thing in Mexican cooking is we use the tomatoes with skins. We never take off ah. the skins, neither the seeds. You know, of course, it's a, that is a, every chef's choice. I see. Okay, cook them a little bit longer. Let me okay. heat up a little bit more. You I know at home, job. Most, most people at home would never take off the skin. No, too much of a hassle. Yeah, too much of a hassle, yeah. yes, you're right. All right, and this is a very interesting dish because you know that tomatoes obviously are Mexicans, but many of these things they were brought by the Spanish. So we have capers here, we have olives, green olives Just like green. manzanilla, that's the ones we use more in Mexico. We have raisins, we have parsley, a little bit of bay leaf, mm -hmm. and then we will finish the dish with some jalapenos. So what goes in next? Okay, so we'll start, now that the tomato is, is more cooked, we'll start adding all this. So we have capers here, and isn't this a very uh, Veracruz thing, capers particularly? Capers, yeah, capers with olives and many times raisins as well. So here we go with so olives. So I never knew raisins were used yeah. in Mexican cooking. That surprises me. Well, we use a lot of surprising ingredients. <laughs> That's why the really, food is so Really, you know, good. it is, you know, like the, all the, the Spanish influence and all that, it makes a, you know, wonderful cuisine. So we have bay leaves now here. You know, that's very interesting because people don't realize how incredibly complicated Mexican cuisine can be and how sophisticated it is. That's true. And, in fact, aren't there something like 26 regions and each region has a different type cuisine. of cuisine? Yeah. Well, we have more. We have like 52, oh, 52. 52 states. Oh, my gosh. So this is a little bit of chopped parsley, you know. We season with salt and pepper now. Now, if it's dry, remember we save the juices from the tomatoes. So we will add some of that now. Okay. We have pepper, black pepper, just a little. There you go. And they, yeah, before it gets dry, because we need kind of a juicy thing. There we go. Beautiful. So we let this cook and simmer. It's almost ready to go because we're not using raw tomatoes. If we'll be using raw tomatoes, we need to cook at oh. low temperature for a little longer. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. 